Welcome back everyone to the Age of a New Beginning Mod, I'm your host, Mr. Mokolova. Right now, as you can see on screen, well, the Soviets are not doing so well, but Bulgaria is doing quite well with a little Italian enclave down here. As you can see, this is a, kind of in a small encirclement. I mean, this is a direct continuation from the last episode right now. Yeah, apparently the Germans have been doing really well, and I've just been, honestly, just keeping up at it. We lost about a million guys. Uh, the Germans, the Japanese have lost a third of a million. The Allies have lost a total of five, over five million, which we killed off 900,000 British guys. And yeah, uh, apparently the Germans have killed off quite a few Americans too, so... Oh, and look how close the Soviet Union is collapsing. Um, we've done, we've actually done a lot of casualties, inflicted a lot of the casualties on the enemy. Obviously, Moscow is ours, wherever that is, it's right here. Um, Leningrad's up here. Uh, we have Tsartsin or Stalingrad. We're currently expanding German influence in Italy. As to make sure that we can catch the influence of the quickly increasing German economy, we must make sure that our economies are closely tied. Plus, this will also give the Germans a reason to protect our own borders from any foreign opponents. I'll be honest, I can't remember exactly what other focus F I did off screen, but I'm going to do this one too. Double the supply for the army. Conquests of our neighbors require much supply for the territories with harsh terrain. Attrition will be devastating without establishing proper supply lines and having enough supply to deal with the losses. Cool! Now we can either do t task Banca Monte da Pasci de Siena to fix the economy. Which looks, um, okay. Personal Consumer Goods versus it removes the national spirit the Great Depression effects. We saw the Great Depression? Holy crap. And this one, remove the Great Depression. Uh, you lose stability, but you get better consumer goods, resources, the markets goes down, electronic user speed goes up, which is nice. Honestly, this, looks like, this one looks a lot better to do. The Banca Nacional de Lavoro was established with a royal decree and has supported the government during the Great War. They have also supported the agricultural sector massively and became a massive player in the Italian banking scene. The time has come for them to, fi to be given a daring test to fix the Italian economy. We still literally have the Great Depression. Holy crap! I, I just, wow! I didn't even realize that. Cool, but as you can see, like we're, we're doing quite well over here. I've kind of not even been paying attention to Africa. But then again... Peru... Alright, I'm, I'm not going to question an ally. Uh, down here, we just kind of stopped attacking. It's, it's kind of futile to attack right now, so i kind of given up on that front for now. Also, we're still trying, wanting to invade Malta, because they do have quite a fleet there, so... There are no units to send to this order. Well, we could try this, I guess. But I don't think we have naval supremacy, so... Oh, we still have six days left, so we'll see what happens. we got some more decryption, which is very, very nice. And let's grab some more encryption as well, which would be very, very good. And anything else happening here? I mean, they got a lot of ships, as you can see. Lots and lots of ships. But that'll be they'll be picked off sooner rather than later, which is why we need to invade them right now. Cool. And we have so much air XP. Holy crud. So much. And we lost a few more planes. That's all right. Things happen. Uh, a couple comments. One said that I should try out the... Oh, we still can go, huh? We have no... Well, I mean, that didn't really hurt us earlier, so... Um, we... Oh, hello. Oh, I don't care. Um, try out the Game of Thrones mod for Hoi 4. Uh, I guess I realized that there was. I don't, I don't honestly know much about Games of Thrones. Throne of Games? Game of Thrones? Yeah, I don't know how much. I never watched a TV show. So I apologize for my ignorance of the show. Maybe I'll try out the mod. If there's enough support for me, I will, I'll try it out. But just let me know if I should try it out sometime. So. Look at the Dutch East Indies. And what do we have here? Laura Acton. I'm going to go with Stella Ricotti Magnani. Just because that sounds very Italian. So... Hello, what is this? A destroyer, please. Go bye-bye, please. Yes. Destroyer, undestroyer, action. Yes, please. Um, Do we have enough? No, we do not have enough naval bombers. Big sadness hours, my friends. When you just don't have enough naval bombers. Let's keep making as much as I want a lot of these things here. Actually, where's our fleet? What are they doing? Are you all repairing or something? They must be repairing. Yeah, they gotta be repairing. Uh, Western France is getting naval invaded finally. All right. Well, that's good to see that happen eventually. And you guys go right here. Oh, they've actually linked up with the other armies here. Yeah, I don't think these guys can really stand up any longer, really. Just saying. They're not looking too good right now. Uh, division count. How many divisions do they have? Uh, 120. So, these guys... Oh, that's, uh, that's not a bad naval invasion, actually. Sure, guys. Sure. We'll sink them eventually. I swear we will. But seriously, I don't understand what's going on here. And we ran... We killed off most of our subs, too, so... Um, you almost done repairing, guys? Please? Please? You have 30 days. You've got about 4 days left. That's not too bad. Hopefully Germany can... Oh, that's a big old invasion. Um, we can't really move you. You guys... We're not gonna invade, then. I want you guys to get up here. Get up, hold the line, then. That's gonna take some time for them to get up there. Norway's coming back, which is not good. 
Come on, we gotta finish off the Soviet Union now, guys. Let's go. Why is the front line so tiny? Keep going, keep going. Why does it literally keep shrinking? All right, all right. I mean, we're doing well in Central Asia, so realistically, they have they lost one more division, so it's going to be a matter of time before we actually get down. Oh, actually, we do have some guys up here already. That's not too bad. Oh, we actually sunk something. Oh, it's a good carrier. Look at that. Nice. It's not a great carrier, but hey, it's still a carrier. This is really, 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 really not good. Yeah, Americans doing D-Day. Not very good while we're balls deep into Russia, which just refuses to give up, which I don't understand. Like, you've lost all three major centers of... Uh, Leningrad, S Moscow, S and Stalingrad, and there's nothing they can really do to stop us. Kubishev is going to fall, so Russia, please just give up. You're not going to be able to withstand all these attacks. They lost another 10 divisions, and another one at me saying this right now. So, yeah. This is really not good, though. Um, You guys can get over there. Just hang out, hold, literally just hang out and just stay there. Help hold the line. A lot of the American boys have got to die then. Because the med is still locked down for now, at least. That's good. Um, yeah, just keep going. Uh, Sebastiano. Keep overrunning him. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Help hold the line. That's all that matters. The, Mer the more American soldiers that land, the more uh, we can kill later on, right? Is that how it usually works? Oh. Oh. Oh, that's right. Oh, so with these guys. Ooh, I don't know if we can really do an attack here. Yeah, overall, probably, eh, it's kind of a mixed bag, I'll be honest. It's a little bit of a mixed bag, yes, no, oh, no, 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 yes. Um, you guys just kind of hang out. Oh, it was definitely mixed. All right, well, let's do this one next. I just don't understand what, why this line is struggling so much. Just go, 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 go when you can. Go, go, go. Floor it into there, please. Okay, they kind of stopped moving for now, which is nice. Uh, we will definitely... once. I mean, once Russia's done, I think Germany will have it. So all we have to do is rely on Germany, which is a really bad idea, but whatever. But whatever. Anything else down here? Nope. Alright, close it out. Don't blow the Suez right now. Um, who else do we want here? Ooh, anything for mechanized armor? We're using a lot of infantry here. Ground support's not bad. Mm, naval stuff, ship designer, research speed's okay. Chief of the Navy, capital ship stuff. Oh, uh, we do have carriers, so let's do that one. Even more carrier stuff, just in case. If our guys are patrolling, which they should be right now, right? Cool. Encryption, nice, nice, nice. Fleet coordination? Sure, why not? Actually, that might be really good. To find enemy fleets as fast as possible. Oh, they're trying to bomb us too, huh? I see how it is. That fleet is not getting out, I swear to God. It will never get out. Hey, we're still holding here, and they can't break us, so... Hey, oh, they're really trying, though. Oh, what are we missing here? Anything? We're really good on artillery. Just planes. It's just planes that we need. Fighters, of course. Bring you to the top. We need some more casts as well. Oh my goodness, that's not a lot of planes on casts. Lower this by five for now. Get more planes going. Can't believe we actually need more steel, huh? So be it, so be it. We're still doing okay here. The Soviets now have 98 divisions. Not bad. And they're almost ready to give up. They're literally 99% of the way there. Keep going, guys. We're pretty much in Asia by now. Any second, they will collapse right now, maybe. Nice. I'll be honest. I really don't care. But I will probably take the Caucasus. Now, I'm not really sure how this is going to be set up with Germany here. I, they might have the Rex Commissariats already ready to go. So, you know what? Maybe we'll give them everything to begin. And I might just take Baku because I, I do want Georgia. I want the Caucasus region here. I want Georgia, Armenia, Azerbaijan. So it kind of fits in with Turkey when we take them out. So they can have that for now. But I want to see if they form the Caucasus uh, Rex Commissariat. So, because we can always use the State Chancellor Tool Mod. So I do want to see what happens first. All right, not bad, not bad. And now we can race back over here and help these guys out. Uh, you guys are down there, which is fine. You guys are over there trying to get to the line. That's fine. Just everyone get to the line right now because they're, they're death stacking. Which is actually somewhat fine. Let them just rail themselves into us. 
Now Germany will have a lot more resources to work with to take out the UK. Wow, look at that. That's really cool. Get some carrier holes though. It's already 42, so. Well, in 42, the Soviet Union died. That's all big old Reich. I'm really hoping. Really, really hoping. Oh, they're finally aligning Hungary. I guess that's good. That they formed the Reichskommissariats. Alliance with Spain. Germany, please take that one. Operation Tannenbaum. Well, they don't need to do that one anymore. Um, war with them. Befriend Turkey. Well, they're gone. Uh, align Romania. Well, that's gone. Fate of Greece. Plan Z. Befriend the Netherlands. Our place in the sun. Come. Maximum. Okay, so they can do all the stuff. Norwegian, Netherlands, Belgium, Frankreich, also in Ukraine. So they don't do. Oh, so they don't have that one. And then I'm going to take this territory here. I personally want this just because we got all that oil and fuel. So, like, we're the ones who fought through this area. So I just want these three tiles. That's literally all I want. So that would be nice. So that was the way. Um, Germany can have all of this. Uh, uh, Bulgarians, we'll see what you get when we're down here. But that's what I really want. Now this gives us more fuel too, so. That'd be nice. Because we were holding on to that anyways for a while, so. Good, good, good. And they are definitely trying to attack us. Wowzers. As both us and Ger well, Germany and us are both trying to beeline to, to get to the line. There's a lot of Mexicans here. The Mexicans did join the Allies. Uh, what else is here? Uh, what are we not importing? What are we not getting enough of? Fuel? Ah, uh, yes. Always a problem of getting more fuel. But now we have a direct access to Iraq. Thank you, Iraq. Oh boy, we're getting invaded somewhere. Oh, it's another part of the fleet. Look at that. Northern France. Well, that's alright. Are you guys here too? Yes, you are. Which is actually okay with me. Because I don't mind sending you guys up there. But actually, let's concentrate our guys like right here. Okay, so never mind. Since they landed, and it looks like they did take a port, we're going to come here too. And you're going to immediately attack. Good, good, good. As soon as they land, push them back out. Push them back out. Alright, so I want them to be baited into attacking us. So you guys actually don't do that. Um, realistically, we need to get down to around here probably. Can we go to war with Iran maybe? Yes, we can. That's actually not too bad. You guys go right here. There you go. Come back over here. So this way you can take them out as fast as possible. Oh, let's do this one. I like I prefer that one usually. And I want them just they're they're already baited into attacking us, which is really nice actually. So you are going to do a great job. You keep it up. You uh go right here. Keep going, keep going. Y'all doing great. Y'all doing the Lord's work. You might consider all attacking you. Oh, then again, I didn't give you orders, so. Four divisions. There used to be five, but now there's four. Keep blowing them up. There's only 68 destroyers there. Holy crap. Anti air upgrades. Get some uh, more anti air upgrades, I guess. Good. 68 destroyers. That's probably the most of the fleet, actually. Good job, guys. Good job. And increase. Invest and increase in naval production. The Italian navy is a pride and soul, and a reminder of her presence in the Mediterranean remains unchanged. Though England and France are certainly willing to contest their naval power in the Mediterranean, to avoid becoming second fiddle with our old allies, we have to push harder our naval production capabilities. All right, why not? With you guys here, I'm not really sure where to send you. Um, Tabriz would be nice, but you guys are still trying to get over there on the line. So, yeah, if we could go to war with these guys, we go to war with the Raj, and that would definitely help out the Japanese, which we want to make sure the Japanese do well here. Chinese United Front, that'd be very, very good. Ah, oh, look at that. Ah, oh, heavy cruiser has now been sunk. Don't even go here. Four more destroyers. You know what? We might just try to get another task force group, probably. Alright, losses? Not too bad. We've killed quite a few of the enemies, which is very, very nice. Uh, plane wise, how we doing? How we doing? Anti air is looking pretty good. We've got plenty of arty right now. Wow. Um, do that. We're going to need way more rubber for where we're headed. Way, 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 way more rubber. We don't need that many more guns. I know we don't need that many more guns, right? We have over 100,000, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. Okay, come down to 15. There you go. 
that's definitely going to help out our uh, naval bomber production and such. So, oh, look at that. Oh, because now we're really concentrating on this stuff. We're going to do a lot more damage, hopefully. Nice, nice, nice. We're going to go to war by the second. So we got a little bit of time. Happy 43, everyone. Happy 43. Well, I guess we're all here. Let's already go. They are attacking us. I don't really care. Iraq? I mean, French demands into China. Oh, please don't go to war with Japan. Please don't go to war with us. All right. Realize Italian naval missions. The Italian naval force is one of the largest in the world, and more than so, the largest in the Mediterranean. We must secure position and only hope that no one would dare challenge us in the long run. Pretty much. Pretty darn much. Hey, some planes. Nice. Some battle cruisers go bye bye. We lost a plane, so be it. Good, good, good. Um, more organization would be nice. Get some uh, nuclear power. Why not? Good. Shoot him down. Shoot out another battleship. Very nice. Another division? Yes, please. Yeah, that's why we're not attacking. They're just going to be continually attacking us here. So I'm not really worried about it, but get in there too. Um, airplane base, maybe? We don't have carrier fighters. Close air support. Uh, we don't know. We need way more. We really just need more, way more naval bombers. Keep investing, keep investing. Cool. Cool. Spado, you guys, you guys. Alright, not bad, not bad. This is going to take some time, that's all it is. This is going to take some time to get this all done, so. Um, oh, yes, carry your holes. It is 43. Oh, we just must have a massive naval battle that I wasn't really paying attention to. There you go. Um, where, where, where was the naval battle that, where, where this happened? What's going on here? Why are you so damaged? Do we have any extra planes here at all? Fighters? You know what? Screw it. Use the carrier fighters. They're not very good, but I'll use them still. Especially for Malta. They want to use planes? Well, they can, but they're not going to do very well down here. You guys love attacking, though. Southern Norway. Oh, they're desperately trying to attack and attack and attack and attack. I'm surprised the Germans are doing so well right there. Alright, well, whatever. Expand the UP project. Uh, let's do this one. To protect the Mediterranean, we cannot have an outdated navy and should upgrade our current models to be able to challenge four navies. Pretty much. Alright, it is 43. Come back over here and grab some more construction speed. Nah, no, let's grab some of that first. That's fine. Another battleship sunk. Good. Well, I guess it's time for us to go in, huh? There you go. Good luck. Why do you force the attack? Would you be able to win there then, maybe? Maybe. Kind of costly, but I don't really care. Good. Another battleship sunk. Anything else around here? Chief of the Air Force, all weather, um, generation chance. Do bad weather penalty, that'd be fine for now. Hopefully become more of a mountaineer. Going to Baghdad, maybe next. Could go to war them, but do it again. I mean, it doesn't cost that much PP, so. Look at that, another battleship. Oh, crap, I forgot about this over here, too. Iranian operative captured. Oh, that's not good. That's really not good over here. Oh, look at this. Uh, are you guys willing to go? Keep... You know what? These guys are all trapped and encircled, I guess. Our allies have been very busy here, so... Huh. Alright. No, do your best. I'll let you go for now. See what you can do. Oh, they're invading over here, too. That is not bueno. That's why we have you guys here. Oh, British soldiers. Another destroyer sunk. Great, great, great. How are we doing? You guys are doing great. Death charge mortars. Nice. Some more destroyers. Conscript the Africans. Still attacking us like crazy, which is fine. There's only 14 British boys down here. That's nice. And Iran is almost gone. Give it a little bit more time and they'll be fully destroyed. Well, we've only killed 100,000 of them. Hey, 
Hey, you die now. There you go. Decrypted our ciphers. Oh no, whatever will we do? Hey, four ships now. Nice, 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 nice. Iran is gone. Permission flying. Let's grab some of this too. Great job, guys. I don't know. I really don't know where to send you all. Um, I'd love to like just have a little bit of a concentrated attack right here, and rush over there so we can circle those guys. But we'll see. We can do the Raj, but let's do Iraq first because we're already over here. Go back over, go back over, go back over. Three more stores sunk. Capital ship? No, we have no capital ship there yet. That sucks. Keep making plans, keep making plans, because we got to throw the planes in the water now. Alright. You'll, you'll definitely find some supply through here because of breasts, so. There you go. Hopefully we start bombing some stuff. Hopefully. And then we'll go ahead and upgrade the Peria class. The Germans during the Great War had shown us that submarine warfare is extremely effective, but the anti-sub warfare has gotten much better, and to be able to deal the same amount of damage the Germans did, we should upgrade our current subs. Hey, right, here we go, look at that. Nice. You find anything, convoys, destroyers, you kill them off. Wild Ice appears, no one else is invading for now. You guys down here should be going right there. And see what you can do. Especially if you can go right there, and then go like right there. Nice. See what you're, what you're up to. Nice. Lost two planes. Sunk two ships. Lost a plane. Sunk ten destroyers now. That's very nice. You guys are all ready to go, right? Oh, they're fighting us. We're fighting them. That's always pretty normal, actually. So, Good, 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 good. And then we'll invade the Raj this way as well. Actually, you know what? We'll probably invade Afghanistan. Screw it. Why not? Oh, so the Norway, which is fine. Look at all this stuff. Lost a few more planes, sunken, sinking some South African ships. Totally fine with us. Exactly what we wanted. Beautiful little group that we can kill off here. Nice, 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 nice. Get some more construction speed. Send in the Africans. Form department. Cool. How are you not winning here? They're only Irish. Iraq is gone, which is great. You guys go in here. There's way more support to do this. Way, 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 way more support to do this part. And again, we can use more planes, like in general. Nice. There you go. Come on. There you go. Look at those divisions. There's 12 plus 7 is usually almost 20. Nice. UK. Great. How are we already 23 minutes into this video? Hey, look at that. 11 ships died. Um, we'll get this one done soon enough. Invest in the carrier fighters. We'll probably go ahead and do... Um, oh, Air Force? Do we need the Air Force? Oh, the Italian Air Force. So I guess we'll have to do this one. Take Italian to the skies. Uh, the air is arguably the most important part of the war. For complete dominance, we must claim superiority in the sky. The path to air superiority will be hard crossing, but we have a head start with our game-changing CR-32s. But we should not get drunk on our success and should already begin to upgrade our Air Force. We should start by updating our current doctrine, which makes sense. Now the three destroyers. So we chop the British fleet and destroy it. Hey, Harat will be ours. Good, good, good. Head on it, guys. Just go in. There's literally nobody there. It's literally your pickings. Nice. And this will give us another way to get into India as well. So the Raj is going to die. So I'm going to hope for that there's only one more episode in this campaign. I'm actually enjoying this a little more than I thought I did. I don't know. The beginning of the last episode was... Like I said, like then, it was a little disappointing, but now I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about this. It feels very weird. The Soviet Union is way too weak, but, you know, maybe that's just me. We're still doing relatively okay here. Not great, but relatively okay. So, huh. More Africans for the war machine? I sound like General Hutig or something. General Hutig? Crazy man. Crazy haircut man. You guys actually did a great job over here. Alright, we found a bunch of Americans and Mexicans. And we gotta go like that next. Hey, nice. Up next, we're going to do this. Research air doctrines. Well, we don't really need to do that. We've done really well with this, but our aircraft may be affected, but will be rendered useless with improper doctrines. No arguing there. Get even more. We need more. We just straight up need more. Nice, nice. 
Nice. Do we have any other planes, carrier bombers, close air support? I could do that one too, I suppose. Um, honestly, I could probably prefer you using you guys here as well. Uh, there you go. Do we have any normal planes? Not really. We need some more normal planes. Fighters, just normal fighters. Oh. More guys for the war machine. I really wish it was a, like a... Not really a white piece, but just a piece mechanic that actually was usable. I think, I think Horror 4 just in general could use that, so. We're ready for much. They join the Allies, which is fine with us. Don't really care. We'll be fine. Nice. 14 now, still all screens, which is fine, totally fine. Just in case, hidden in there as well. Go in there as well. And cut them off. They still have a port, though, which is unfortunate, but that's okay. Send in the Africans from the other side. Oh, they're invaded up here now too, huh? Screw it. We're all going in. Go in, go in, go in. You guys begin the attack as well. Do not let them move. They want to attack up here. That's fine. We'll kill them all off down here then. Completely. Cool. It's all up to them. Cool. And not bad. They still have a big old fleet, unfortunately, for the Americans. And the Brits and the French, but whatever. Uh, yeah, we'll do that one next. Cool. Just want to double check it. Um, hey, Afghanistan's gone. Great. We still have a lot of research, so we'll just grab that one. There you go. Honestly, yeah, that's not too bad. I don't mind having you guys down here, though. Because it might just be easier. Get rid of India. That'd be really good. This should, this will definitely help out China. Once they don't have to do with India, they'll definitely take out China. And they'll take out, um, Saudi Arabia. That's the plan. Oh, look at that. That's nice. Alright, we're going to lose the planes here, but at least we get to see what the enemies have. Alright, that, that was a giant mistake. Yeah, they invaded over there, but now they're going to lose the entire army that they brought over here, so... Not sure if that's really a W for them. Not really sure that was really worked out for them in the end. Could use more rubber. So you guys are doing great. You guys... Eh. Looking pretty good. I'm going to actually send you guys over here now. They just shifted everything. Whoa! Why did they, why did they join? Oh, that is not ideal. Kick him out of Brittany first. Quickly. Quickly. I thought they were supposed to... Germany was aligning them. Well, apparently that was a lie. Force it so they can't move. Get in there so they cannot move, and they'll literally have to die in there. More than 20 divisions are going to expire in there. Thank you very much. Because they have nowhere else to run or get more organization, and they all died. As they should. Now, we're not going to set up anything in here, which is probably unfortunate, but whatever. Because now, we're going to come over here and help them out. Go in. If the Hungarians want to do a backstabbing maneuver, so be it. All the Bulgarians shall burn. Hey, new task force. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. But, uh, well, we must well start using you guys. No radar. That's a big mistake by me. But got better anti air. Grab some more hangar space. Cool. Not bad. Let's use you immediately. You're done. You're done, and you're done. Uh, goodbye. Yeah. Destroyers. Goodbye. Don't want to use you. Don't want to use you either. Three. We'll use these guys for now since we got them. Yeah, it's fine. Anti-air 3. That's fine. Torpedo 1s. It's fine. There you go. 2. And then do another one. There you go. Really want to make sure that we get enough carriers. Alright, not bad. Hunt and destroy. Let's grab the next one too, because we have more than enough naval XP. Take the tally to the skies. Research air doctrines next. Followed up with... 
Ooh, this is not too bad. Trade for German fighter designs. German engineering is top notch. We would be foolish not to trade with them. If the Germans give us their BFW designs in return, we could hand over the Beretta designs. This is a solid deal, but the past has told us that the Germans will be hard to work with. Will they agree to the terms or will they decline? Time will tell. Nice. We only have one sub left here, which is really sad, but whatever. There you go. We still gotta deal with that too. God dang it, I forgot about that. North Africa's looking like a really losing proposition right now. But oh well. Oh wait, I thought I told you guys to get over here. And then we'll see you in North Africa after this. And you guys are gonna have to, well, I'll send maybe these guys to North Africa when we're done too. Cool. So that's done. This is almost done as well. Um better guns, really. Yeah. Got some better guns for now. Hey, there they go. Good, good, good. Um, head on in. Just go in. And Kosish. There you go. Nice. Alright, come down here. Have some fun times down in Northern Africa. Good, good, good. Not that many left. Then we can really send you guys out. Oh, the, the Reich already invaded Ireland. Whoa. Nice. How are you guys doing over here? Oh, India's looking really good. We might literally split up India into, like, I take Pakistan, they get the rest of India, maybe. We'll see about that, maybe. We'll see. Um, We could use more planes here. Where is it? Naval bomber's nice. Fighters, not enough of them yet. Jesse killed Robert Biscay, that's unfortunate. Find everything they got. Nice. Destroyers gotta go bye bye. Jesus Christ, they actually invaded Ireland. Wow. So, by taking out these convoys, they shouldn't be able to make as much stuff, technically, right? Less manpower, right? Less supplies, right? That's the idea. Do we have any more ships here? Hopefully not. They got three destroyers. Three destroyers. Well, that's weird. The Germans took out Ireland before anything else. Cool. Alright, we could probably do this one too. Awesome. So, I think in here, uh, I'll just deal with this off screen and we'll probably reconvene when Germany actually does invade the UK. It should be weird to see, but let's read through a few of these first. Trade for German fighter designs. Uh, I'd rather this one, but expand airfields. The need for airfields is increased with new innovations in aircraft. We should not let us fall behind and construct new airfields. Increase fighter production. Fighter planes are the base of a strong air force, but current production has been stalled by the Great Depression. Increasing funding and working with private companies would increase production significantly and would greatly benefit us. Coordinate air planning. By coordinating our air force would help us will help our air force significantly. Decrease casualties and help us gain air superiority easily against our enemies in the air forces. Research bomber models. Bombers are a vital piece of the Air Force being able to deal massive damage to infantry tanks and ships alike. By financing research, we may be able to upgrade our bombers and destroy the enemy military. Invest in cast models. Close air support is a brand new invention or innovation in aircraft technology which will greatly benefit our land forces and battle and be a cheaper and more easily producible alternative to bombers as well. The Italian Air Force. The Italian Air Force Regia Aeronautica has a history of aerial warfare, being one of the forebears and pioneers in aerial technology. <clears throat> We must continue to live up to our legacy and fight our enemies in the skies, wherever they may be. And we'll probably also do expand the UP.41 project. As early as 37, a proposed design was brought up to further the scale of the existing. The Torio class of battleship, though the design proved to be costly when first drafted. However, we are in a position to put effort into building the upgraded Super Latorio class of battleship and pave our way for the Regia Marina's domination in the waters. And invest in new carrier fighters. The Air Force has become a dominating factor in naval combat. To secure naval dominance, then, we need to be able to hold our own in the skies of the Mediterranean. Average fighters will not be able to reach these areas, so we need to invest in carrier fighters so that our naval Air Force can fight them on their own. Invest in artillery shell production. With the recent modernization project ongoing, it's most preferable that we pay close attention to our artillery sector of equipment. With the newer and larger caliber of shells on the way, we need to set our focus on to providing our new artillery pieces with better shells. 
and research new Breda anti-air models. Breda has been working on a new anti-air guns for us, but improper funding has stalled research. Should we support them, or should we prioritize other matters? But if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow, when we will have invaded the UK, liberated the rest of Norway, and maybe even take out the United States. Thanks for watching, have a great, great rest of your day.